June 18th, 19th, and 20th, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, the sun is in Gemini and the moon is in Cancer. It's so sweet because it's Father's Day on the 18th and the moon's in Cancer. You can't make this up. Okay, sun in Gemini, moon in Cancer. What a dad. Some people are built for this job. There are some dads, especially if they had moon and cancer, and my dad had it, that they love their children so much and they love being a dad. There's other people out there who had dads that were ridiculous. They didn't take the job seriously. They didn't show up. They abused. I mean, there's such a dark side. The light side, of course, is the dad who was devoted. The dark side was the dad's wounds, which were probably put in place by the dad's wounds, by the dad's wounds, really continued the toxicity of the human condition. That's a conversation for moon and cancer. What is it about us that makes us so emotional with our family? I often thought, this is a crazy thought, this is a Gemini cancer thought. When my son arrived in my life and here was this little baby and I thought, how could I love this being so much? One, I've never met him before. Two, he's on my boob. Three, he lives in my house. He's going to be here for the rest of my life. And four, are there other beings that I don't know, that I'm madly in love with, who haven't shown up in my house yet? So it opened up my mind to love. And that is the nature of Gemini Cancer. They love everyone. So it's two holidays that need to be addressed. One we mentioned is Father's Day. The honoring of that being that gave you life who whether you liked him or not, dads come in grumpy, they get better as they age. Then there's the other men who come in as old men and as years go by, they soften. So there's a definite evolution that is occurring for the notion of father. And if you didn't have one, there might be a male role model that you wish was your father. So let's talk about that. Or they, maybe he deceased and he's an ancestor. It's still worthy during this holiday. I love the notion of honoring the fathers and changing the conversation about that which you judged or really honoring the ones that you love. Then there's another holiday in the middle of this Juneteenth, which is the holiday that was celebrating the end of slavery. I mean, we should just stop everything and acknowledge there was a time on earth. I want you to think about this. I went to the museum in Washington, D.C., the African American Museum, and I found out there was hundreds and hundreds of years of people being in slavery, not to mention right now. So we stop time in honor of moon and cancer and sun and Gemini, and we say, let's celebrate the evolution of our species. And while there's a million things to say that's wrong with us, we are out of slavery, we're doing our best to love our mother and our father, we're taking spirituality and combining it with metaphysics, we get to study astrology right here in cyberspace, there's so many positive parts about us, pushing buttons, driving cars, flying in airplanes, we're living in the times that the kings would have dreamt that you could walk down the street and buy Indian food in the middle of your town and have it be really authentic. That didn't happen before you used to fly, nope, you took a boat. So we are in a new era. And this is the end of slavery. This is a rewrite on being a father. There are conscious parents out there. Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, you might wake up feeling a little emotional. And I'm here to add to that by saying the emotions can also go into sweetness and to crying for how much we love this life and how vulnerable we are as human beings and how beautiful that is. If a baby were born with this, they would have a very compassionate heart with a deep desire to free humans by their existence. Ooh, if everybody took that on, you are here to free yourself. It's an inside job. Astrology Answers wanted me to tell you, happy Father's Day. Thank God slavery has ended. Enjoy this because we are coming out of a new moon. It's still quiet out and we're feeling all the feelings. If you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about the four elements, which is my favorite topic to talk about, what is your missing element is a question we'll ask, and then discover how to create more balance in your life, just click the link in the description to get instant access to my free elemental video series. You will find out there's so much wisdom there.